we'll be going into chapter 8 which is exergy a measure of work potential yeah so the objective of this topic uh, this uh, this chapter would be to examine the performance of engineering devices in uh, light of second law of thermodynamics define the exergy which is the maximum useful work that could be obtained from the system at a given state and specific environment define the reversible work uh, define the exergy destruction define the second law and yeah that's all for this topic yeah okay so now let's move on to X, uh, 8.1 which is exergy the work potential of energy from textbook page 422 the useful work potential is given amount of energy at some specified state which is called exergy which is uh, called the available availability or the available energy yeah so if let's say uh, it's, it's actually known as the useful work in a system, you can have such a big system with uh, work, yeah, with work. But out of that, probably only half of it is actually can be converted to useful work. So that's what we're going to look at here. So a system is said to be dead state, yeah, dead state when it's in thermodynamic equilibrium with the environment. Okay, thermodynamic equilibrium with the environment. So look at this. A system that is in equilibrium with its environment is said to be dead state. So in this you see 25, 25. So it is a dead state. Okay. Like you, when you are sleeping, you are actually in a dead state also. Because your useful work potential is actually zero. Because there is no movement. Yeah. Let me just explain to you. A system is said to be dead state when the thermodynamic equilibrium with the environment, yeah, it is the same. At dead state, a system is at temperature, pressure of its environment, uh, the same, yeah, it's the same. It has no kinetic potential energy relative to the environment, zero velocity, zero elevation, and it does not react with the environment. So even chemically, there is no reaction. So that is what it's called as dead state, yeah. Okay. So, distinction should be made between the surroundings, immediate surroundings and the environment. So, what's a surrounding actually? Yeah, the definition of surrounding, uh, everything outside the system boundary. Yeah, everything that's outside the system boundary and the immediate surrounding will be yeah, referring to the portion of the surroundings that's affected by the process and environment refers to the region that is outside. Yeah, region that is uh, properties are not affected by the process at any point therefore any irreversibilities during this process occur within the system and its immediate surroundings and the environment is free of any irreversibilities yeah so which means if let's say we see this hot potato yeah the immediate surrounding is here so the changes is actually between here to here so there is no effect to the surrounding. So there is no irreversibility here. Okay. So uh, let me just re-explain. When analyzing the cooling of a hot potato in a 25 degrees, for example, the warm air that surrounds the potato is immediate. Uh, immediate surrounding remains at 25 degrees of the environment. Note that the temperature of the immediate surrounding changes from the temperature of the potato to the boundary. Yeah. So we have 72. 25 so that's what it is and the system delivers maximum possible work as it undergoes a reversible process so what's a reversible process remember from the previous slide it is the perfect process there is no irreversibilities okay so this represents useful work potential and the system as a specified state which is called the exergy so exergy represents the upper limit and the amount of work the device can deliver without violating the second uh, without violating any of the thermodynamics law the first law and the second law so look at this atmosphere yeah this atmosphere actually contains tremendous amount of energy but no exergy what does it mean it means if you have a system yeah full of uh, energy not all the energy can be harvested can be useful maybe just a small portion of it only can be useful so that's what uh, trying to explain here so, uh, 
exergy that's associated with the kinetic and potential is the same yeah the formula is still the same yeah so this is a very good explanation this is what i was trying to explain so there are like unavailable energy it's a portion of energy that cannot be converted yeah this is the unavailable uh, energy that cannot be converted to any useful part so before we move on to example uh, uh, to sub chapter 8.2 let me just go to an example and try to solve this question for you consider large finance that can transfer heat at 2000 rand kind we are now at the english unit yeah because my textbook is actually so just ignore the units just look at how the working is being done in steady rate of uh, 3000 british thermal units per second Determine the rate of the exergy flow associated with the heat transfer. Assume the environment temperature is 77. So, environment temperature is 77 Fahrenheit. You need to change this Fahrenheit 77 to Rankine. Yeah? So, when you convert, it is actually 537 uh, Rankine. So, let's look at the uh, calculation here. Determine the rate of exergy flow. So, what is the rate of exergy flow? So, what is the maximum uh, uh, efficiency? So, 1 minus TL over TH. This one you have seen from the previous lesson. So, the maximum is 73%, 73.2%, which means 73.2%, which is perfect, yeah, for reversible process, multiply with whatever that's gone in 3000. So, this is the um, energy that can be converted so note that 26.8 percent of the heat transfer from the finance is not available to do any work so that would be the wasted part yeah 26 point 26 point eight percent where else this one is 73 73 point two percent which is useful because the efficiency that's calculated shows 73 point two percent i hope you you can understand what i'm trying to say yeah okay the evaluation of exergy alone uh, is not enough here yeah, to study the engineering devices operation between two fixed states. This is because when evaluating exergy, the final state is always assumed to be dead state, which is hardly ever in the case for actual engineering system. That's the reason why I'm going to introduce to you two quantities, which is the reversible work and irreversibilities. Yeah, so in irreversibilities, yeah, this term here, irreversibilities, it is actually the uh, exergy destruction yeah okay now before that let's look what is uh, work surrounding yeah what, what is work surrounding okay the work done by work producing devices is not always entirely in a useful uh, form okay so uh, for example when a gas piston like this one yeah when a gas piston cylinder expands Part of the work done by the gas is used to push the atmosphere air out of the way from the piston. Okay, like this. You see? So this work, which cannot be recovered and utilized for any useful purpose, purposes, is equal to the atmospheric pressure times. So in this case, for this filler, work useful equals to W minus work surrounding, which is actually equivalent to P0 multiply with v uh, v2 minus v1 yeah so as closed system expands some work needs to be done to push atmospheric exit this is what i was just trying to explain to you so that would be your uh, work surrounding so this component is actually work surrounding so work useful will be w minus with work surrounding yeah okay now what is reversible work? Reversible work is the maximum work, maximum amount of useful work that can be produced or minimum work that's needed to be supplied as the system undergoes process between the specific initial and the final state. So, uh, there's also another term which is the irreversibility. Yeah. So, any difference between the reversible work, yeah, between the reversible work with... Uh, with the useful work due to the irreversibilities okay you understand or not yeah so reversible work which is the maximum work minus with the useful work out the actual thing that went out the difference is the irreversibilities 
okay so reverse irreversibility is actually equivalent to the exergy that is being destroyed yeah exergy useful work that has been destroyed okay so uh, that is the meaning of irreversibility yeah so the difference between the reversible work and the useful work is irreversible this is another graphical uh, graphical uh, presentation yeah so this is the uh, actual process and this is the reversible process the perfect process always remember actual process is always lesser than the perfect process yeah so the difference will be uh, uh, irreversibilities okay so we are done with this chapter uh, so let me just go into an example and yeah, discuss with you an example then we will just uh, move on to the next one okay let's look at this question here her heat engine receives 1200 at the rate of 5000 uh, kilojoule per second and rejects rejects heat at 100 uh, work at 180 power output is 180 sorry rejects waste to the minimum which is 300 okay determine the reversible pro power and the irreversibilities rate okay so work reversible will be what is the reversibles um or what you call the perfect the perfect pro uh, uh, process uh, efficiency so in this case is one minus t sink over t source yeah M multiply with q in so this part shows the perfect perfect um, efficiency so in this case it's supposed to be 375 okay 375 okay now 375 is supposed to be the work reversible output okay but what is coming up only 118 which is given in the question so which means 195 has actually been wasted during the process in the result which results the irreversibilities okay so that is the the explanation uh, for this actually yeah and then uh 500 okay the reversible power okay so that is the irreversibility uh okay another one also the 500 multiplied with 375 what is 500 500 is given in the question right 500 multiplied with 375 375 is what you have calculated it's 125 of heat rejected to the sink is not available for converting the work thus it is not part of the irreversibility yeah so it's not part of irreversibility because that has been wasted to the environment so with this i've completed uh chapter 8.1 and 8.2 of uh, chapter 8 yeah uh, so please do the homework that i have actually assigned and submit